What you want, okay? It's a video. It's a video. Kiori, aka Muff Cakes, in the building, and it looks like she brought her friends with her. Who are these people? This is the mom, and this is the daughter. So, what is her name? What are their names? Her name is Layla, and her name is LOL. Oh, okay. So, we have Layla and LOL here as our special guests, along with Muff Cakes here. I come on this video. I need to talk to y'all, okay? Because your girl is super stressed out. So, the first thing that I want to talk to you guys today about is me quitting my job. That was like one of the biggest decisions, one of the hardest decisions that I had to make for several reasons. So, all right, so if you had been following me, and I know I don't have a lot of followers, but for the people that do follow me, I really do appreciate y'all egging me on to continue to come on here with videos for y'all because, like, it's really challenging trying to do a lot of these things. I started working at a nail bar, and first, before y'all even come at me, let me just say I'm very, very appreciative that I got the opportunity to work at the nail bar. All right, so originally when I started working, I was very, very happy because I was working in my field and I am really, really passionate about doing nails. I, I like to have my nails done. I love to have my nails done and it's therapeutic for me. I mean, yesterday that girl was saying that she don't, she don't like her nails that she did. Who was saying that? Yesterday, I remember. Oh. And she was so mean that she didn't like nails. Mm. And we are going to talk together, record. Yeah, we're going to be nice about it too. Yeah. Yeah, we nice girls. Yeah. yeah. One thing about me, I'm going to try something out, and if I find that I don't like it, we're going to try to make it work where I like it. And if we can't make it work, I'm out of doubt. First of all, before you even start working, if you're going to work for somebody, you have to know why you're doing it, and you have to know that you need to be sure that your employer cares about you. Okay. In these days and time, these employees, they don't care about you. It's all about the dollar. Well, I can't wait till we get a lot of money. Well, we will get a lot of money. We'll get a lot of money. It's coming. We just have to keep praying to God and keep having gratitude and thanking God for the things that he's already given us. Right? Okay. I'm working hard towards what we want. And then eventually the money just comes as a place. So, all right. So if your employer does not care about you, it will be very obvious. If I had a nail bar during these times, I would definitely, definitely, definitely require everybody entering my facility to be serviced, to wear a mask. It is mandated in our state, in the state of Florida, for everyone to wear a mask when you are going into these establishments, especially in close quarters where you know the possibility of the contracting the disease um, or the illness, you know, is very likely. This establishment 
was not requiring anyone to wear the mask. There's no sign up. Um, and then there are like people taking their masks off if they have one on um, and, you know, trying to conversate. And that's just a big no. Well, when it was the big girl, she was 16 and she said, it's no mask is for me and I wear the mask. She told everyone to get out. Did she? Was she wrong for that? She was wrong. Why? She got, uh... I would tell them to get out if they ain't got no mask on either. She, she got a lot of money from her mom. Oh. And she got 1500 I mean, $50,000. Mm. And She's rich. we need $150,000. Yeah, we do. We do. That would be nice to have. And we can, we can, we could do all stuff that we could own do. Because we don't want people minding our business. We should hold on. Get out of our business. And mm -hmm. they have a good house than us, but we have a good house. Yeah. We need to get a house with state Okay. Yeah. And that we don't live in. Okay. Gotcha. So that was the first thing was that she was not making people <laughs> or requiring people because you can't make nobody the other way. She was not requiring people to wear a mask. That tells me that you do not care about yourself. You don't care about your investment. You don't care about your employees. You don't care about the other clients in here. Matter of fact, everybody can just walk in and bring y'all corona right on in. Don't worry about it because all of the licensed professionals will have on the mask. But what about the other clients? people all over this establishment okay so that was a problem for me um then when i did go and ask the receptionist i was like hey girlfriend um why y'all not requiring people to wear a mask at the door she was like oh we can't make people wear a mask you just saw the news it is mandated i'm gonna say it again it's mandated that we wear masks all right, so that was the first thing, the first red flag. And I'm all about red flags. When I see red flags, I pay attention to them. I do not push them to the side. I always keep note of them and I go back and I do my pros and cons. Two, your mouth. How you communicate, very, very important as a manager, CEO, whatever role you're playing in a company, communication is always the second that she got on top of her voice trying to tell me how to clean something in front of the clients is a no. In front of the other employees is a no. There is always a way to communicate yourself. You do not have to get on top of your voice. If you know me and you know my family, we do not get on top of our voice. And so that's a no. If you need me to do something a certain way and I'm not doing it how you would like me to do it, put me to the side. Hey, Shay, I saw that you were doing it this way. Please don't do it that way. I would prefer you to do it this way. Do not come for me in front of all the clients. That's what you do. It's a problem. Strike two. You gotta talk to me nice. <laughs> I talk to you nice. Okay, so let's share that responsibility. As a business professional, okay, that's something that you're gonna have to do. When you have employees is you have to treat your employees like gold honey nice. if you want their loyalty you never had no dog you never owned a dog a dog is going to be loyal to the person that feeds it and that nurtures it and that cares for it so if everybody feeding your dog the dog gonna be comfortable with everybody because the dog doesn't have any loyalty to anybody because everybody feeds the dog okay okay did you catch that okay and i used to be little with the girls laughing when I was at daycare. Who was laughing at you? The big girls and I was a baby. They said they wanted and don't get me. Oh well. Don't don't people laugh at me all the time. People probably laughing at me right now while I'm recording this video. But mm. you think I care? No, I don't. You shouldn't care either. Well, I I'm big now, and I'm going to be mean 
That is not what God said to do. You know that. You know that some people they don't know. Okay, well, okay. we're not going to be mean to people because they're being mean to us. We're just going to pray for them right now. Yes. All right. Next thing is you don't. If you're going to cure, to work for someone, make sure, especially in this industry. Make sure that they care about your body. That is very important for a nail tech or anybody in the servicing field. The minute that you wanted me to start on someone's full set at the pedicure mode, that was a problem. Number one, that is not comfortable. You want me to come over and have her to reach over here and reach over there to give me her hands so I can prep her. You must be out your mind. That is wearing on my spine, my neck, my shoulders, my wrists. How am I, why, why, would, I do, why would I do that? Because you want to save the client time. If she's book for all of those services she's got time she's got time told me that you do not care about my well-being okay so that was strike three the biggest red flag for me is that you do not you're not a licensed cosmetologist you're not a licensed full specialist you're not an esthetician is simply the manager. Make sure they know about what you're doing. What's your scammer problem? A scammer? A fraud. Somebody who lies, cheats, steals, doesn't care. There's a lot of scammers out here, girl. You gotta be careful. One of her policies is that if someone comes back to get a service redone or they were not satisfied with the service, they can come back and that whole dollar amount is withdrawn from your check. If, if you are not the one to fix the problem, okay? So her receptionist did not communicate to me correctly what I was supposed to be doing. So I did what the receptionist told me to do, which was the wrong thing to do. So the client was not satisfied. So the client came back, somebody else did it, and I get my check and my check is, is deducted heavily. I can't be a nurse taking care of somebody who is um, terminal and when they do expire, tell you that I want my money back because they died. Like, how? I sent you a text message and I let you know that I would be ending my duties in the position at your shop and along with a lot of other things, kind of like some constructive criticism. And you went and you showed A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The message, messy. Not what you're supposed to do as a manager. There is no reason why the girls should be texting me, telling me that you let them see the message. That's so messy. Are you just trying to like start some shit? Cause if that's the way to be, Girl, Miss Thang, Miss Girl, yes, she'll be there. Once I get my license and I get the right crew in there, I get my girls in there. Um, but as of as of now, no, I don't think I'll be trying to work for anyone else unless I know for sure that they have my best interest. So that was my experience working at the nail bar. Your experience might be different. I pray that it is. Um, if you work at a shop, shop, let me know what your experiences are. You guys ever been through anything like that? And so, how'd you handle it? Why y'all doing that? Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And um, I'm out. We're going to get to doing some nails because this is not what's up. So, well, I do we're nails. out. I'll give you nails for the color you want. Thank you. Um, these.